Uh, I thank the uh, previous speaker, the chair. He does a very good job as chair of the committee, and I uh, had the pleasure of serving with him the last term on the old DLEG budget. Uh, but, however, I, I know there's been uh, some changes made to that budget. Uh, in some ways, makes it better. But I rise today in opposition to the uh, Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs budget. Um, and uh, you may, <clears throat> we may have given it a better name or the administration a prettier name, but the cuts are still uh, no less ugly. Uh, no one is questioning Ms. Michigan's fiscal challenges, and we're all in agreement that tough budget decisions have to be made. But Laura, uh, the budget we are, have in front of us, uh, gets very little money from general fund, so even a minor cut has a major impact. With the governor, while the governor has taken the labor and economic growth pieces out of the department's name and primar primarily out of the department, the budget on the focus on job creation and the general fund budget has diminished across the board. The administration frequently talks about value for money in government, so it seems counterproductive to reduce funding for a department that is a revenue generator for the state. For example, my OSHA and the, Labor, or the Liquor Control Commission have recently brought in more than $341 million into the general fund. While these important programs appear to be spared in the budget, other vital programs are not so lucky. While some of the reduction in this budget is due to a shift in responsibilities to other departments, a significant portion of the cut in remaining Laura budget <clears throat> comes from fire protection grants. Those are hitting cities all across the state of Michigan that have state facilities. Local governments are already taking a massive hit with cuts to revenue sharing, and the legislature should not be adding to their burden by cutting fire protection grants. This further jeopardizes public safety in our local communities, <clears throat> and it again undermines the sentiment of shared sacrifice targeting working families, education, seniors and police, and fire more than others. In this budget, the Michigan Nurses, Nursing Corps is also being eliminated at a time when health care is one of the strongest growing fields and nurse faculty are needed to reduce the backlog of nursing uh, school applicants. It's penny-wise and pound-foolish to make such drastic cuts to one of the few areas of economic growth in our, that our state has seen. Even after coming out of conference, this budget before us is still flawed. While it's moot anyway, since these budgets are likely to be rolled up into an omnibus anyway, I'll be voting no on this bill and urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to oppose this budget as well. Thank you, and I'd ask my remarks be printed in the journal and included as my explanation of my no vote.